Hey there, hello everyone. Welcome to It's Our World. So today I'll be demonstrating how we can remove COOT virus and recover the encrypted data after the attack. So what is COOT virus? So COOT virus is basically a ransomware which will attack your system and block all your personal files like documents, photographs, movies, music, everything. So see I have a folder out here which have many image images or photographs you can say with extension .jpg. But currently after the attack all the extension got changed to COOT. Severally you can see in other of my drives like in E drive I have other files as well which have the extension COOT in each of the folders that I can open and can see that all the files have got the extension COOT and basically all these files are unaccessible. You won't be able to open any of these files. Additionally, the hackers will leave a notepad message underscore readme.txt in every location and it has a warning message like they will say that they have all your documents and they will charge $980 to decrypt all your document. But please do not respond to any of the emails that email IDs that they have already mentioned because they are not going to return all your data it's for sure because they have attacked for some reason as well now I'll I'll state the three steps that we can use to remove the COT virus the first one is open notepad with your administrator right like right click on notepad and click on run as administrator now from file click on open and you have to go to this path it's C Windows System 32 driver and etc. I'll, I'll just go to this path. So we are in C drive, then go to Windows and then go to System 32 and from here go to driver. Here I am in driver, then move to etc. And here you have to select all files and here you can see the host file now what we have to do is like we have to remove the ip address that is there so make sure there is no external ip address in this host file so remove the external ip address that if they if it is having any and then save the host file uh antivirus pop-up will appear just accept the change and close it and i'm done with editing the host file now the next step is remove all the readme underscore txt files from your system so to do that open my computer and here you can type underscore readme this will search for all the readme.txt file that is there in your system and after it's it finishes it finishes the searching just remove all the files that are there in your system currently i have removed the virus so i won't be having any of the files except one that i have kept purposely for displaying and then let it let the system search for the files if i am having any then the, comes the third step the third step is to install a software that is malwarebyte this is a very good software which can remove the cot virus i already had mcafee in my system but this software was unable to detect the virus as well as remove the virus so install malware bytes it's, it's a free software the link to download is given in the description box and once done just open the malware byte and start scanning i have already scanned my system it has no threats currently so if you find any threats it will appear out here and you have to just quarantine all your threats so that's the removal of the virus now comes the second part how to recover the lost data because this is the most important thing uh, all the data that are there in my system are now decrypted uh, sorry encrypted now i have to decrypt the data so basically there is another software that is data recovery so data recovery will appear pop up out in this fashion and from here you have to click on guided scan so if you click on guided scan and click on start scan it will ask for in which drive you want to perform your scan so for the time being i'll click on e drive and i'll start my scan and it will take some time uh, i'll just cancel this because it will take a huge time but see within this short span of time it has already recovered this number of files so for demo i'll just go to documents so these are the two documents that i need to recover these are all these were already encrypted now i'll just select these two files and in this location these will get recovered i can change the location as well 
I'll just change it to like this PC and in this PC I'll make it in E drive only. So in E drive let it be there and I'll click on OK and click on recover. So once I click on recover see these two files has already appeared but initially when I opened E drive there was no files with any of the extension apart from COT but here we can see now that the two PDF file that I have recovered are now present in my system and I'll just double click on it and I can see the data that was there initially in the file uh, present currently. So this is the process which you can follow to recover your file. So this is the data recovery pro. This is a free software you can get it. the download link is there in the description box and I have also provided the key in the description box as well. Now I'll just share some do's and don'ts which you can follow to get read or get, which you can follow not to get attacked in future. So the first do is like always keep a backup of every documents or every photographs images that you are keeping in your system because keeping a backup is very necessary because if there is any attack and you, are, you have not kept any backup so all your data might get lost and try to use a original windows that will protect your system very much and the don't is like do not do not download any of the uh, files that uh, from any unknown uh, website or like uh, what occasionally we do is like we try to edit a photo and we go to a random website we just edit the photo in the random website and we then download that but do not do this this is a way to the hacker that in that way they can come to our system that they, they can leave the virus to our system so do not do not do that it's a request from my end i hope you will enjoy the video you have already enjoyed the video and learned the steps how to recover your data and how to remove the virus so stay tuned i'll update more content on technical thank you